YouTube, what's good? My name is Lo, and today we have a banger video, and it's sponsored by Intel. They've spoiled me with a bunch of goodies, but the main star of the show is the Intel Core i9-13900K. This thing is a beast, and we'll get more into it soon. Before that, let's take a look at my current PC. Over the last couple years, I've slowly upgraded, downgraded, and changed the look of my PC. It's currently rocking a Intel i9-12900K, an Asus Strix ROG 3090, 64GB of RAM, a white Z690A motherboard from Asus, a 1200 watt power supply, a 280 millimeter Corsair AIO, a WD Black 2 terabyte M.2 SSD, all in the height Y60. Now that you have a better understanding of our starting point, let's get into all the upgrades, starting with the Intel goodies. That's sick. Y'all hear that? They hooked it up with a massive care package, and it's really cool. A water bottle, a blanket, a backpack, this cool RGB cube, a bunch of other accessories, and of course, the Intel i9-13900K with 24 cores and 32 threads up to 5.8 gigahertz. I'm very curious to see the generational improvements over the 12900K in things such as gaming, editing, and streaming. Next, we have an ASUS ROG Z790E motherboard provided to me by ASUS and Intel. 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB RAM, Lian Lee Shimmer Plus V2 cables, Lian Lee AL120 Univans, a 7 inch LCD screen. And now that we went through all of that, let's get to work. First, I had to clear my workspace, unplug my PC, and let's start taking this thing apart. I started by taking basically everything out of my PC. Since I had this PC pre built, this was like my first time dissecting it, and it took me way longer than it should have. While I love this case, there's just so many random screws that I didn't even know I needed to take out and i'm not very organized so let's hope i put all the right screws back oh and there was so many zip ties on the back of the pc which i can appreciate for cable management but they didn't have to make them so tight i was struggling now that the pc is completely disassembled for the most part it's time to install the 13900k this this is always my favorite part i always forget to take off all the films so real quick Then the DDR5 RAM. Now let's put the motherboard into the PC. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the SSD in, so I did that real quick. Then last minute, I put in this 360mm AIO, mainly because it's white. If you're wondering why I have it, it's from my old, old build. But one small change is that I switched the fans to the new Lee and Lee ones, and I just realized I bought the wrong fans for the side of the PC. I should have got the 140mm version. Anyways, I plugged in all the cables, and finally got to put up the small screen. I should have done this a while ago. Then lastly, the Streamer Plus cables. And I'm out of USB headers, so I had to buy a splitter. So until then they're just white cables let's see if this boots so it booted and turned on but it wasn't booting into windows just the bios and this always happens with my nvme ssd this specific one a couple settings changes later and bam windows here's a montage that you never asked for <laughs> Overall, I really like the aesthetic. I definitely think it's a little cleaner than it was before. Performance-wise, this thing is going to be a beast if it wasn't already. All right, so there's a few things I want to test with the PC. I immediately booted into Valorant because I am addicted. You know me. Red rank, some light. In the range, I was getting upwards of 1,000 FPS. And in DM, I was getting anywhere from 600 to 800. Now I wanted to try the same thing, but with OBS open. On OBS, it said I was using about 1% of the CPU resources, which is a little bit less than before. And in game, I was seeing about a 100 FPS decrease, which is completely normal. And realistically, you're not gonna see a difference between 800 and 900. The next thing I wanted to try was editing. I wanted to see how well it handles 4K, 60fps, 10-bit footage from the Sony A7S III. Playback was super smooth. Scrubbing through was extremely easy. And to render this 35-minute file took about 8 minutes. On that side of things, I am very impressed. It is not easy to edit that type of footage and even render it at that speed. Something I've noticed is that the 13900K pushes my 3090 to its limit, which is crazy to say. Yes, I know the 3090 is a generation old now, but to this point, I've yet to see a C CPU dragged the 3090 to the way that I'm seeing the 13900K dragged the 3090. It's definitely a CPU heavy system now, which is wild. Overall, I am very happy.
happy with how this came out obviously the 13900k is a beast and perfect for creatives like me streamers that just want the best of the best i could have definitely showed you guys a bunch of numbers and benchmarks i wanted to show you guys real world examples of how this chip performs but the problem with real world examples is that this chip completely obliterates them and you can't even scratch the surface with how powerful this chip is chips like this enable us to stream off single pcs and not skip a beat as for upgrades i still want to make i am eyeing a 40 series gpu preferably white again thanks to intel for making this video possible working with intel is a huge dream come true and none of this would be possible without you guys supporting videos like this supporting my tiktok thanks for watching subscribe if if you are new, peace.